You have all of the other great competitors. Uh, it's just it's just ridiculous talent out there, and he's one of the people you look at as you one of your best amongst that. So what does Ling do in your eyes to deal with that as we go into game number one here of Losers Finals? We have two of Connecticut's best sitting in top three, trying to shut down Jackal from getting it so he could get that top two. Yeah, but you know Jackal is trying to make that run and trying to save us from watching Fox DDD Grand Finals like we had to <laughs> last year. So we're going to see again, how it? <laughs> it shakes out. Already a big opening for Ling, but we got some good old-fashioned neutral. Look at that. The integrity, the fundamentals, the respect. Ooh, ooh, the, the schmoop. Makes and, of course, well. the yes. schmoop. <laughs> now, that's, that is the one singular one we will cash in through this entire tournament. Thankfully, it has only been said once. <laughs> and, uh... I mean, this is kind of the matchup in a nutshell, Ooh. too, because Wolf oh. wants to shut... Oh, my God. That is... You do not want to get Tech Chase on a platform. That's oh. how Peach puts on all this damage, and AG, it's still going. Dude, okay, so I got a shout-out. I've only seen a few Link sets, but the down tilts have been phenomenal lately. I got it. Oh, my... But the side special... The Wolf flashes have also been spectacular. What in the hell, bro? He... That is... That's, like... If I ever need to talk about not giving up stage control, yeah. that is uh, that is my <laughs> textbook 101 image I'm showing from now on. And I get why he went out there too, right. because he already burned his jump. Turn up seemed like a good idea yeah. until it really wasn't. Right, I, but it's hard. You know, you, you just last set, don't edge guard John Numbers. Well, bro, do not edge guard Jackal that either. Oh my goodness. Okay, really tough spot at the ledge here. Missing that turnaround grab could cost him, I, and it did. See, that's gonna give Wolf players some like merit because he didn't uh, get the yeah. grab range. <laughs> so they're gonna say Wolf bad. A and better then, character would have oh. grabbed him, yeah. <laughs> and then you see that Nair lasts for 10 years. And, <laughs> but that's a majority of the matchup. Like what we were talking about at the start before things went chaotic is the air to air game needs to be Ooh. won by Wolf to shut down anything Peach wants on shield pressure, right. dare wise, and stopping. Please don't get hit by that. I, I oh was my God. so worried. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. We're going to see the back throw here possibly set up for the edge guard, but good route. I like that. Kind of feigning going high with the float and then immediately dropping down. Get into the ledge. Ooh, threatening the back air or F tilt. I, like, I do like that, too, because you don't yeah. lose anything on that. You right. keep stage control. You, If he decides to press a button because you're just empty jumping, you get the stock. Yep. But Ling reversed it. And that dash attack again, another really good anti-air tool. Anytime he wants to get something started, so you're forced to you're forced to stay grounded in a matchup right. you really don't want to. There we have the classic down throw at Nair. Good dash attack extension too, catching that kind of early aerial from Jackal. Ooh. Oh, as I say, do not go out there. We already saw this happen once before. The fact that Jackal burned that fear into him too. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Good DI from Jackal going high. Yeah. He's been stuck on ledge for quite oh. some time. Amazing coverage for Ling. That whole sequence was beautiful. Turn up throw down, threaten the trump, still hit him with the neutral here. All fantastic. I liked every single bit of that. That was, And all of that was off of one double jump got ripped. Right. He respected him to not go out there for the side B, but he still never gave up his turn. That is definitely the story of the night so far, and this is going to be Ling taking a turn right now. Okay. A very small turn, but Jackal firing back. You take every you take every turn you right. can get against Jackal. Not even just Wolf against Jackal. He does not give you many because he's very hard to hit. As the match progresses, he gets that read and he just goes for it. He knew the percentage window and he knew it would hit. Um, I, it's got to be like a DI out read, right? Let's go back. I, I want to see because sure down throw in that yeah. position, he's at thirty. He's at thirty nine. Okay, gets like, hit, gets hit, right? But and then this is what you're talking about. Immediately fires back. Approaching aerial, catches that, and then gets the tech in place with the grab. 52%. And uh, hold on, we, let's bring it back. Just I can a only bit. He had to have been. No, actually, he might have okay. DI in because he didn't want to get back aired here, maybe. Yeah, let's see. yeah. Okay, that, no, that, it, was, uh, it was actually a little bit out, but good stuff. Out. Well, that oh. works, and that is now in your head. Yes. <laughs> and what a poetic way to the first stock. Oh, you overextended. Get wolf flashed. Oh. The third stock. Let me remind you just yeah. how good that move is. You mess up one time, mid percent, you're done. You're done. He thought about it. He thought. He he, he definitely. He was 100 percent on that <laughs> zero to death train. He's like, I really want to finish this. He's thinking but about he, too he, much right now. He's really considering going off stage at some point. Okay. He wants the clip. He's not gonna get it. And that would that fair bear at that position would have gotten it too. But he just needs to make sure he doesn't try to get too fancy with it because we've seen what Link can do at one down tilt. Don't right. give up this leap. Oh wow, the jab kind of whiffing there. It's gonna be the back air out of the down throw and on 
unbelievable bravery to try and go for that. He's still got the Nair follow up off right, that too. Right. Like he, he just understands even off of whiff where it's gonna work. Ooh, okay. I like that the float. I can't believe that hit. I'm not really? gonna lie. Yeah, that was so low to the ground. <laughs> where did that hit? Oh my goodness, catching any sort of option right there with that up smash. Really good stuff from Jackal and Ling trying to respond back, but Every little aerial from Jackal is just, it's so worrisome for yep. Ling, right? You saw Ling okay. kind of jump in his seat after that. Oh. What a call out, though. He, did, <laughs> he usually saves that for like a game three right. type last stock read. He said, no, I need something to get me back in this game now. And I definitely feel like he is back in it. Jackal going for the dash tag. Going to be a down throw into the Wolf Flash. Miss. Wait, okay. why wasn't that punishable? I got questions. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> What's the, hold the frame date on that one. We yeah. all know it was Ling's fault, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna continue to wolf yeah, propaganda. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ooh, very like very even game right now though, AG. Yeah. Oh, that's huge damage too. All of a sudden, 79 on the back foot. Jackal swinging a little bit too much. We got the tech chase in the platform, but good dodge from Jackal. I actually like the fact that he did Ooh. that twice too, because now for Jackal, oh yes. my God, he forced him to go high. Perfectly executed. Yep. Route control is key. You don't have to go off stage here. Make him go high, because if he takes the turn up, he dies. So right, he has right. to go high there. And it, the confidence too. Right when Ling saw the jump was gone, all of a sudden the gear shifted. Now putting that pressure on, catching the jump with the nair, and almost air to air, but fighting back now. That was 100% a mash out on up air too, but like it worked. Yeah. It got yeah. you out. <gasps> that don't you don't yeah, let, let him rock. He, put, he slapped you in the face, can't do anything about it. Let him rock. Okay, I like that Nair off of the ledge, and what a parry from Ling. Such a dangerous spot to be in right now, but there is another solid down tilt. Whoa, what the heck was that option? I'm so scared. I, I think if he held down, yeah, he would yeah. have gotten the trade off. Oh, R and Jesus done blessed again. <laughs> just, just. Check, just keep the counter going. And <laughs> Wolf Flash, all right. So we're living in a world where we just saw him die at 50 before. So right. just bear in mind that Jackal's probably looking for that soon. Oh, no, it's so tense. Unfortunately, one big hit from Ling can be the last one for Jackal, too, though. Looking for it right now. Gonna, ooh, I like that weight. He's moving with confidence, yep, yep. too. That's the most fear. Oh. He is moving with confidence all of a sudden. Yeah, 32% doesn't really mean that oh, much. No. Like, he's, oh, no. He hasn't given up his turn. Oh, no. He's looking for it. He was always looking for it. He was moving with confidence. He never backed off. He knew that all he needed was just enough damage, and he could do it to him again. And you could see the look on Ling's face. Like, I can't believe I just fell for that again. My god. You're telling me there's been a second wolf flash, down throw, tech a little bit out again, and another blockbuster of a game ender at a criminal percent. And that is exactly a feeling that the Ling fans can resonate with. Yep. There, no, there really is no other proper reaction to that moment. It's like, I really just let that happen to me twice. But Jackal knew his win condition. It worked already. You can just get to 50. You just need to not freak out. If you have one stock left, you're still in the game. Yeah. And he made it work. That was really well played by Jackal to even get it to that point. If you, you know, if, you, if, you, if there's time on the clock, you got time for a shot. And Jackal has been taking some full quarters right now. But they have been working back to back to back. Ling firing back with a huge response, though. Yep. And that turn up, big, big deal. He's lucky he touched the stage, too, because he did get his jump reset, as we just saw right, right there. If he doesn't get that, that's probably a stock for Link. Forward smash up against the wall. That was an interesting option right. that Jekyll 100% was not ready for. <laughs> that's why it was an interesting option, I guess. <laughs> the air to air right there with the neutral air good stuff from Link. Taking that stock, playing very differently than those other two games. And I think we have yeah. two good reasons as to why. Very happy that even after like the five ish years or whatever it's been now that we've been seeing like this matchup play out, right? That they still keep it interesting. Oh, like yeah. it, it's oh, yeah. still it, the, the, the evolution of how this matchup is played is pretty interesting overall because you think it's just simply Nair versus Float, and then Jackal and Ling have just been m like they manipulate the platform so well, right? Right, both of them drop this whole set. We saw and so many different evolutions. Sometimes you still got the classic wolf forward smash, but sometimes the peach down tilt. And the combo extensions are all very interesting to watch. There's that down tilt there into the forward air. Now Ling looking real comfortable on stage, forcing the tech and trying to put some more pressure on. Oh. Kudos to Jackal too for constantly staying calm in that position. Oh. Ling, however, has lapped him in percent. He does finally find that back air. Basically for Ling, I'm just trying to hold in and stay in center because yeah. because <laughs> he might get <laughs> down throwed side beat suit just to even up the set count. Ooh, I like that forward smash too with the golf club. To try and force a shield drop, but it's going to be just another aerial taking the stock after 
a lot of percent. Yeah, and a whole stock lead once again. He's getting, he, even though he's not getting his huge combos, he's getting forward maximum here. damage. That's Yo. a forward here. That's a game right there. Oh, never mind. He did not go oh, yet. It's but, a game right there. Okay, he did grab the jump. I didn't know if he pushed him out far enough away, but Ling answering back. And what was two games that were both winnable and in his lead at points, but he still ends up bringing it and getting the game number three. And that is a game I would not have believed had I seen those first two, but I still know the Ling, a seasoned veteran, a player who's been around to a tournament or two, still has the ability to stay composed even after those yes. electrifying first two games and bring it all the way back in a solid still, showing. If you still got games to play, you still got a chance. Exactly. That's the most important thing. In game six, if you're down, you still got a chance because there's still a chance to get to game seven. And right now we're looking at game number four in here. He was up multiple times. Jackal had the clutch factor, of course. Right. But that time he won a whole stock up. And he has currently not hit him. Yeah, I was going to say. At uh, all. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> okay, there's that forward smash we were talking about, trying to put the pressure on with that neutral air. But interesting. Okay, it's going to be the back air. No big... No big extension, but the platforms, yep. like you mentioned, so key. Exactly. He's repositioning himself, and that's after you just took 96. So right. you better simplify it, because <laughs> if you try to overextend, we've already seen what Jackal could do every time you do that. Exactly. Up till trying to sneak in some more chip damage here from Jackal, but Ling finally with the stage control, not able to make a whole lot out of it. Oh, okay, hold on. Good check in. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to go for near to cover, but he went a little bit too far to get the follow-up after, so Jackal gets his turn back. Uh, one straight back here at ledge does kill, but he doesn't read the jump off, just kind of keeps himself at ledge. Oh, I love that, feigning the forward air, but not actually throwing it out, catching that spot dodge with a near into dash attack, and the pressure on the platform, the turn to cut off the route, and the up smash to punish the landing. So very sick. You got a little bit of extra damage out of turn yeah. up too, but for a second, I thought the turn up might actually Saved. stop the kill. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know what? You deserve this, how much stuff you've pulled so far throughout this set. Oh, Ooh, up okay. there to beat Nair at ledge. That's yeah. interesting. A good idea. That's good to have in your back pocket, too, because Nair is just an all win neutral oh. button. Uh, excuse me, ledge trap button. Right. Okay, some big whiffs from Jackal. Gonna try and take it slow with that laser and then immediately prove me wrong with the dash attack. Answering His, back. Link's eyes wide open so wide on that. Like, you yeah. really just challenged my down tilt here. <laughs> I wasn't even floating, but it's such a good trade off. Ooh. There's nothing bad that really happens on that trade in center stage. And I think oh. that's what Jackal understands. But He's, hey. he's taking a lot more straight hit damage all of a sudden. Yeah, honestly, Link has a few of these options scouted out, trying to stop these approaches with some good aerials, and oh my goodness. Ooh, I started freaking out because I realized yeah. he was at uh, forward air to down air percentages yeah. pretty soon, so <laughs> he, and Jekyll's trying to line it up, especially with Rage now. Forward, uh, like, fair dare does kill at 59. All right, well, it looks like Ling might not be able, or uh, doesn't want Jackal to have that rage. I, trying to take the stock right now, but oh my goodness. There's that Nair you were talking about. Grip the double jump. He already double jumped beforehand on that, so does he try to go for all smash? No, he just smartly just took the grab yeah. and decided to reset it. It's like, okay, I didn't win on that Ooh. neutral getup. You grab, I don't die to the grab. Let's do this again. I love it, right back at the ledge and the re-grab not gonna be punished because of course that up special is so very hard to hit. But catching that neutral air, landing with the back air, Ling wants to bring it to game five, but Jackal wants to move on to Grands right now. Yeah, he's trying to uh, get himself that meeting with Light once again in that top two position. J uh, Jackal, of course, trying to play big spoiler on that for Connecticut, and there's some support for him, of course, still in the crowd. Oh. But he's not by any means, like, playing. It, it feels like he's not giving him as much respect at ledge. Right. So Ling is kind of getting away from a lot of these back airs. But at the same time, I'm Ooh. still, you still have to be very Ooh. careful if you're Ling here with this lead. I think you do, but at the same time, Ling looks so comfortable. I don't think he's worried at all. Actually, you know what? After that frame trap, I might have been capping. You're right. Like, he is not, he hasn't really lost neutral in a while. It's now reset, but okay. even that dash attack won't be enough. Wow. Jackal looking for the next big hit right now, but Ling making it back to the platform. The soft hit of back air and some more pressure. Oh my goodness. Down tilt sets it up, but it's going to be the dash attack from Jackal, evening it up. We have seen it before, those two games, the two next to Jackal's name, in fact. Yes. Both games where Ling had this or a better lead. And Still finally counts. going for down smash at ledge. He hadn't yep. gone for that a while. And, okay, so it's a little bit late for Saturn right, to be like right. a super big problem, but everything, actually, no, everything's a hit confirmed now on the ground. Oh, okay. 
Oh no, don't let it don't let it be you version three. Don't let it be you version three. Don't let it be you version three. No way! No! It's happened not once, not twice, but three times! He was at the percentages. Ling had shattered in hand, so he didn't think that you'd try to go up and challenge it. But once again, Pummel plus the and also I think he held DI on DI in on that. We don't have to watch it at all. We don't have to watch it. Pause it. Oh, an unbelievable man. Oh, wow. so very sad. Three times, three times in the set. That is all you need to get the dub. Okay, so we can see kind of like it's like a little that way, which it has been pretty much the DI every time he's tried it. Bro, Mr. So, Saturn is like up. the worst person to ever call to back you up in a fight. Like earlier, Mr. Saturn didn't tank the hit on the sun salutation. And then when Actually, yeah. like Mr. Saturn shows up there, when you needed him most to like tank the hit and like avoid the grab, what's my boy doing? <laughs> Saturn's just like that's all. Again, that's you. I don't know. That's you, you Queen. <laughs> like I respect you, but I wasn't the one getting in this fight. <laughs> so actually, the pummel got in the way and right, pushed right. him off. But still.